right, thanks everybody for coming out uh, this morning. Uh, great first day, great to get back on the field. Fun to, fun to see our uh, entire roster uh, on the field. That was, that was good to kind of see that for the first time. Um, certainly, uh, I, I think I'm taking several steps since spring. I think the biggest thing I notice right now is you know, a lot of our bodies have started to change in the way that they, that they need to change. Um, you know, both our bigs and our, and our skill really moved in the right direction. You see, you see a little more pop, a little more speed, a little more physicality out on the field just from an overall sense, which I think was good. So um, great start. Uh, we'll be, uh, we're going to get in the uh, Coliseum the next couple days, get a chance to, to practice some in there, uh, spend a little bit more time there uh, in our home. So we'll be looking forward to uh, one more non-padded day and then obviously get shells on and, and progressing from there. But overall, a really good start, a lot of energy, a lot of intensity. Good to see, like I said, some of the new bodies out there that have been great additions for us. Coach, could you tell that there was a certain amount of anxiousness on your players' part to get started today? Yeah, I, I think there was. I mean, they, they've had a uh, – it's, it's been a long road for this group to this point. And um, this group's been challenged in a lot of different ways, uh, and they've continued to respond. we talked, you know, a lot, obviously, about how this roster's come together. And I think, I think for them, they're glad to finally, like, have all their guys and – Here's what we got. Now let's go to work and start building this. And um, they certainly seem to pick up kind of where we left off spring in terms of like we blow practice up and everybody's kind of mad. Like, no, nah, coach, we want to keep going. And that's that's how it should be. And for you, anxious as well? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. You uh, did sleep very good last night. I mean, you're, you're just kind of excited and ready for this day to go. So uh, once, you, once you get into camp, I mean, it's, it's one of the best times of the year. There's not a lot of other distractions. We're with each other. Darn near all day, um, and what a great opportunity for us all to grow. What are the early impressions of early ground? He's, you know, his, his speed on the field is, is noticeable. Uh, I mean, he's uh, on a field where we do have a lot of good athletes. I mean, he athletically, you know, he's, he's one of the guys that certainly stands out. Speed, a bit explosion. Uh, day one, and backs are backs are a little tough sometimes to fully evaluate when you're not in pads, um, but. I uh, thought he had a, he's had a good summer with us, had a good first day, um, and athletically he does some things that are certainly exciting. What but, does he have to do to make up for not having been here in the spring? Well, I mean, learning, getting comfortable certainly in the offense and, and his role, uh, and then all the other great things that backs do besides just the long runs and the flashy cuts, you know, uh, ball security, pass protection. Um, Know, just becoming a really a complete football player, but he's he's a good kid. He's committed to it. He's working hard. Um, uh, I'm always I'm always pretty slow to, to anoint freshmen. You know they got to go prove it on Saturdays, but he certainly has a bright future. What do you like about the morning practices? Uh, it, it's a good change up for us. I mean, I think you got to learn to to prepare your body uh, and be ready to play at all times. Um, we're obviously going to play at a lot of different times. Um, uh, here in the upcoming year, so we've got to be ready. We're going to practice some morning, some evening, some night. We're going to mix it up with our guys and challenge them to get their bodies and minds ready to go. Uh, but yeah, I mean, the one nice thing you come out here early, we've still got some guys in classes right now. So guys, a couple of our guys left classes here throughout the day. And then uh, then we've got the rest of the day meetings, walkthroughs of that nature. So, you know, we make it a pretty productive day. We had some talented guys after spring ball, and one of them was Eric Gentry. What do you foresee his, his role in this defense? Yeah, no, I'm excited to add Eric. He's uh, He's been a, a real positive addition so far. Um, kind of strikes as a guy that really loves football and loves to be out there and loves to compete. Um, you kind of always hear him, always see him, feel his presence. Um, and uh, yeah, he's a, he's, a, he's a pretty physical player for being as young as he is. And obviously everybody sees his length, um, which is certainly a factor in defensive football. So um, really nice addition to, to the defense, the linebacker room. Uh, Going to give him a chance to compete. Coach, is there a certain amount of pace that has to be involved when the first game is so far away? There's, there's some give and take, certainly. Uh, but for us right now, I mean, year one, uh, and so much new about this roster. We're, we're, we're certainly not easing into it, uh, if you will. We're, we're going to attack it, and then at the right time, we'll, we'll uh, pull off of them just a little bit, try to get their bodies uh, back, and obviously start preparing for some of the upcoming opponents. But right now, it's, it's about us. We, we got to get USC right. You know, we've got to win our inner battle, and, and that's our fight every day. So yeah, as opposed to 
thinking of it like a like a marathon where you run a little bit each day. Our our deal's more now. It's a fist fight every day. And then you wake up and you get up and get ready to fight again. Is that just, is that establishing physicality as well? Hundred percent, hundred percent. Yeah, you don't. We don't want to ease into games, so I don't think we want to start. You know, start with that mentality right now. Absolutely. Is the punting situation a concern? Say it again. Is the punting situation at all a concern right now? Uh, I would say concern. I mean, Will Rose did a really nice job in the spring. We're f completely comfortable with him. Uh, we, we'd love to add a, another body just for depth, competition, all of that, and I and I think we will. Um, uh, so, no, it's this day of college football, you got to always have backup plans. you got to always have that next guy in mind. And uh, so it uh, wasn't something that caught us off guard, and we were prepared and we'll act accordingly. You have your, your fingerprints all over the quarterback situation and stuff. Uh, what went into adding Jake Jensen? Uh, obviously, I know that was a big storyline in the spring with their quarterback. Yeah, just uh, you know, got a chance to uh, had, had an outside contact that knew of Jake and put him on our radar and kind of liked his makeup, his maturity, uh, some of the things he's been through. Just not just a player, but just as a person. And uh, you know, thought he'd be a really steady person to bring into the room. You know, and those those rooms are, I mean, as I mean, look at the room from. December to now, you know, those rooms are very, very fluid right now. And to add some stability and a guy you feel like could come in here and be successful and run our system well and had some experience was important. So uh, you know, we brought him in on a visit and liked everything about him. And, and uh, you know, I think he'll bring a lot of stability and, and uh, experience to, to the room. Thank you, Porter. Oh, some good, some bad. Um, you know, there's. I would say pretty typical first day. Uh, we missed a, a few throws that we need to make. We, we had some spectacular throws, and uh, certainly a, a long ways from where we were first day of spring, where, where, which you would expect. And nice to have a few other guys that we can that we can rep, and not just uh, not just Miller and Caleb. So um, it's definitely a more complete room. They've got a better understanding of what we're doing, but you know, so does the defense. And so it's just a again, like you know, day one of spring, guys kind of know what to do and sometimes even you know not great ball will still be successful we're now the level of ball on both sides level of understanding is getting higher the windows are getting tighter it's it's just a higher quality which puts you know more pressure on on the cues to execute so um, you know solid first day we got to get a lot better yeah no he's a good player he is he's uh you know very uh very attentive uh very you coach the details, and then you see it show up on the field pretty quickly. Um, you know, made some nice plays for us today. So, I mean, he's obviously you know, he's a proven player in his past. He's got to come prove it here. But he, he had a really strong day. And, I mean, he's, you know, for first time truly on the field coaching him, he's impressive. You know? Yep, yep. Some talented veterans on the offensive line. Who are some of the, the guys that are maybe below the, the first team guys that you're looking to see emerge? Yeah, I mean, you know, Mason Murphy, for sure. I mean, he's a guy that has a lot of ability that you feel like it's a matter of time. Uh, but and, and he had a really strong summer. Some of our veteran guys have really taken to him, uh, pushed him to, to really improve, which is a great thing, especially on the old line. Uh, Gino, I put Gino in that in that category. I thought Gino had a really nice close to Springs, a pretty physical player, uh, starting to learn multiple positions inside for us. Um, I put Millick there. I mean, I thought Millick had a really nice spring. He got a ton of reps and took advantage of it. So, obviously, we just brought Cooper in. Uh, so excited to kind of watch him for the first time and see how he can progress. But it's a good second group. We got to continue to develop them. We're going to need them. Always looking for perfection. What didn't you like about <laughs> We don't. I got to get into meetings at some point. Uh, we got, we got a lot. Uh, I, I mean. I like what I expected to like, which was the intensity, the effort, the focus. We're certainly, you know, the, the, the talent level's better. They're in better shape. I mean, all that. I mean, the execution is is good for a first day. It won't be good for a second day. I mean, and that, that's the thing is you just have to keep climbing. You got to keep building. And um, so enough to get excited about, but but uh, we're not going to go home right now. We still got a little, <laughs> we got a little work to do. So. Let's do one more. Obviously no pads today, but guys are coming off the field sweating and, and looking yeah. tired. How do you instill that work ethic from day one? Well, no magic, no magic pill. You just, you just work. Um, and, you know, I think you just create that expectation coming into it. You know, we grinded these guys all spring. 
Uh, we had a very demanding summer. Uh, they were prepared to come in there. I don't think anybody was shocked by the pace of practice or the amount of reps we took or even the physicality, even though we didn't have pads on. I mean, that's that's uh, you want that to become it's just what we do here. Nobody even thinks about it. And uh, I, I did feel that. So uh, the response to it was good. Our guys were in shape. They were ready to go. Thank you, Coach All right. Thanks, everybody.